This video will show you how to add a dynamic DNS to your DVR. First, open a web browser and type in noip.com into the address bar, not the search bar. Click on sign up. Create a username for your NoIP account. Enter your email address. Then create a password for your account. Retype the password and make sure it matches. Now create a host name for your account. You will be able to change it or add more later. Choose a domain name and be sure to pick one of the free options. Click no thanks. Click no thanks, I'll use a free host name. By signing up for the free service, you will need to renew your service every 30 days. You should receive an email reminding you to do this. Click free sign up at the bottom of the page. Next you will need to confirm your account with your email address. Check your inbox for an email from noip.com. Follow the link in the email to activate your account. Sign into your account with your email and the password you created. Select Manage Hosts. The host you created while signing up will appear. Click Modify. Here we are going to modify the IP address. We input an incorrect IP on purpose so that we will know when the dynamic DNS has been set up correctly. Next, log into your DVR using Internet Explorer. Go to the Config tab, then Network. Make sure on the network tab that the DHCP box is not checked. Then go to the DDNS folder. Select no IP DDNS and check the box that says enable. 
leave the server IP the way it is and port 80. Enter the domain name you created with no IP. Enter the username and password for your no IP account, not your DVR. Click save. Double check that it's saved. Close the config window. Reopen it to the DDNS section. And make sure all the settings have been saved. Now go back to the no IP page. Refresh your browser and the incorrect IP address should automatically update to your correct external IP address. To check what your external IP address is, you can go to whatismyip.com. Now when you would like to access your DVR using Internet Explorer, use the domain name in place of the IP address. However, when using a mobile app, you need only input the domain name into the address bar. Do not use HTTP and do not specify a port in the address, only the new domain. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.